Hello everyone, this is Richard Hay from the Super Cypher Windows here to talk to you a little bit about the new out-of-box experience in the latest Windows 10 Creators Update testing build, build 15019, that was released this past Friday. They have done a couple tweaks to this over the last few builds and I wanted to point out the new features. A couple limitations with my video though. It was recorded from a virtual machine in Hyper-V, so there's no audio, so you cannot hear Cortana uh, do these responses, but on, a, on bare metal, you will hear Cortana talk to you as these settings go through. So we get started. This is exactly where you start. You can see the new tab layout with the welcome. Cortana's down there explaining what's going to happen and that she will walk you through all these different settings. Now, because this is in a virtual machine, I have a hardwired network connection, so it doesn't prompt me for Wi-Fi credentials, but there is a Wi-Fi credentialing option if that's your only type of connectivity when you're installing 15019. So after she explains everything, she gets started. And the first thing, of course, is region. So you pick your appropriate region. And then your keyboard layout, of course. And again, she's talking to you throughout all of this, and you can use voice interaction. If you have a sound card and a microphone on that system, you can respond to Cortana's prompts to implement all of these things. Of course, the license agreement, you have to click Accept. And now it's moved on to Network. As you can see, the tabs are going across the top of the screen so that you can see what's going on. So right now it just identified that I had a hardwired network connection and so it's moving forward for that process and now it's prompting me to sign in with my Microsoft account. So I will give it my Microsoft account, account credentials. Uh, you will see that when I enter the password, it prompts me for uh, two-factor authentication, which I'm using the uh, authentication app on my Android LG Nexus 5X. So I have to approve that prompt to be logged in on this device. But it's great that the out-of-box experience is now working with all that so clearly and so plainly. So I give approval through my Android device through the app. And now the account is set up. So it's now going to move on uh, to some other setup features. Of course, a PIN. Uh, it always wants you to set up a PIN even when you have a password. That way you have a backup login method uh, for your system. And of course, you need a PIN to use Windows Hello anyway. The other thing that we don't get to see here is the Windows Hello process. If it had identified a camera on my system that was Windows Hello compatible or a fingerprint reader, then I could have used those as well. Of course, this is the setting to make uh, for services to make Cortana my personal assistant. So I say yes. And then these are the new privacy settings that you get asked about location, speech recognition, diagnostics, a tailored experience with the diagnostic data and relevant ads. But that is now part of the out-of-box experience as of build 15019. And that's it. Now it's set up. Cortana is going to now move forward and do um, explain to you that that process, you know the process that happens is this high. We're setting up your system for you. Your files are right where you left them. Uh, it's going to log into the system automatically. And then it's going to start that process. So as you can see, you get an idea of how the out-of-box experience is becoming more interactive. And like I said, if I'd had a microphone in Hyper-V, I could have gotten that uh, to, res I would have heard Cortana talking to me and I would have been able to respond by voice. And it, the only things we're missing in this process was the Wi-Fi experience of actually seeing the process of picking that network. Because it's hardwired, you don't have to pick, it's automatic. So it's actually compared to the first time they updated the out-of-box experience, which I want to say was in build uh, 15007, if I'm not mistaken, maybe 002. Uh, it was really rough. A lot of things out of place. This is the first out-of-box experience with the new build, 15019, that came out on Friday, which is full of features, uh, for gaming features. It's the first time that it's looked so clean, looked so smooth, and not had any weird uh, interface issues or UI issues or anything like that. So thanks for taking a minute to check out the new out-of-box experience that is now part of the Windows 10 Creators update, what we know as Redstone 2 for the testing builds. Uh, and I would expect that this will continue to be tweaked and sorted out so that it gets even more user-friendly and more voice interactive. So until next time, stay safe on the net.